Hi y'all, today we're going to be talking about the NYX. Vaughn is semi-automatic scout rifle that is relatively okay. At the end of the day, it's very, very similar to a Vandal, but pretty much just worse in every regard, and unless you want the one unique playstyle this gun opens up, you are better off with the Vandal in every single way. It's a fine scout rifle for what it is, but the Vandal is just better. So it's a 255 at 334 RPM scout rifle, which, or 255 RPM at 334 damage, whatever, which should sound pretty similar. It's the exact same thing that the Vandal has. You get 540 muzzle velocity, 2.4 long, 1.95 short reload, which is very nice, 12 rounds, okay hip fire accuracy, good aim accuracy, and standard aim down sight speed. In comparison to the Vandal, you have worse hip fire accuracy, and you have a worse magazine, as well as not having .75 ADS. You also have a little bit higher velocity, but this doesn't really matter, it's 20 meters a second. But because you don't have .75 ADS, it feels a lot worse than the Vandal to use, and ultimately having a slightly better reload it doesn't really matter. In addition, having worse hip fire accuracy just makes it a worse panic option in close range. It's... Ugh, the Vandal's just kind of better than it is, but it does open up one specific playstyle that is relatively strong for what it is that I do recommend, but it's the only reason you would ever use the Nyx. So in the way of attachments, Pick your poison on the scope. Uh, if you want to go sniping with like a 4 or even the 6 if you're really feeling ballsy, you can. I would just run a 1 or a 2 personally, but pick your poison. On the barrel, I would take the suppressor. You don't really have to worry about the damage falloff penalty because you only drop one tier anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So the suppressor is basically a free slot and you can just learn to adjust for the velocity. The comp is pretty useless because it's a single shot weapon, the gun will reset before you actually have to worry about the recoil, and the flash suppressor is a fine slot filler if you don't want the muzzle velocity loss. In the rail, honestly, your pick here is up to you. I like the comfort grip because you just swap to it faster, which is really nice. It's good. It's just a convenience pick. The laser sight is fine if you want to try and be a little bit better at hip fire. Just be warned that it's still not very good no matter what you do. And the weighted receiver is difficult. The gun already is a pretty good moving cone of fire anyway. And losing 33% move speed while aiming down sights is pretty big. You can take it if you want, but in general, I don't like it, as it makes you too easy to counter headshot. In the ammo, you have access to the heavy mag and, as I was alluding to, unstable ammunition. The heavy magazine is fine. You get three more rounds, meaning that you don't have a muzzle, you don't have a magazine loss compared to Vandal, but you do take a 20% hip fire hit, so it's up to you. If you're not running the laser sight, the heavy magazine can basically be viewed as a free pick because you're just getting extra magazine and you weren't going to hit fire anyway. Unstable ammunition, however. So unstable on this gun is rather interesting because you have a three body shot or four body shot kill no matter what. Meaning that if you want to run unstable and just hit fire people or use it at long range, the gun does become quite strong. Now, personally, I still don't like unstable. I don't run it. But it is a fairly solid option if you're looking for a bit of a different playstyle, and it does have its merits. It is reasonably effective, it's probably the only gun I would ever run Unstable on, and for what it is, it's actually a pretty decent option. So, of course, we're going to jump into some live gameplay, as per usual. Uh, it's Osher, and it's currently Osher at 9.10pm on Connery, meaning that the fights are probably not going to be that good. So we're just going to have to kind of make do... We're just going to have to kind of make do. It's a bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. And of course, joint combat drops me onto nowhere actually useful, so we're going to quickly... Let's go third-party sentry. That might be that might be a good way to show off what the Nyx can do. So the Nyx works in both close range, medium range, and it does work out to long range, but I would not advise it. At the end of the day, it's a semi-automatic scout rifle, and that's worse than the Vandal. It's not really anything interesting, and as I've been saying... Unless you really, really, really want to engage in the silly, unstable ammunition build, I probably wouldn't recommend it. It's not a bad gun. <laughs> I won't deny, it's not a bad gun. It's just... very okay. Like most other VS, or not VS, but most like most other semi-automatic scouts, it demands very good aim to be able to actually get any real use out of, and... If you have the aim to make a semi-automatic scout rifle work, guess what? The Vandal's got your name on it, and it's a better rifle to boot. That is what I would say the largest problem with the Nyx is. It's not bad. Only with the last of her strength. But could I recommend it over the Vandal? Probably not. 
it's just, you just lose a little too much. You just lose a little too much compared to the Vandal. 0.75 ADS is a very, very strong gimmick to have on a scout rifle, and the Nyx just doesn't have it. And the get benefits the Nyx does have over the Vandal either are not significant, like the reload speed differences, or the unstable ammunition playstyle that is still ultimately a downgrade if you know what you're doing or can headshot. So, it's just, Enemy back. I mean, it's not the worst thing ever. It was one of my fastest Araxiums. In fact, to this day, it remains one of my fastest Araxiums. But, I can't recommend it in good faith. It's just not a gun that's strong enough or interesting enough to warrant picking up. There's no situation where I wouldn't just run the Vandal instead. Buddy, get out of your defector. Nobody likes max units. And I didn't even notice that there was an engineer in there. Good way to drop him. Of course, fight isn't so good, but... What can you do? It's live gameplay, and in addition to it being live gameplay, it's Osher. And alert Osher with not very good pop. Meaning that it's not very fun. I don't like this comment. That should be fairly obvious. And there's not really anywhere to fight. Like, why is it take sending me to Viridian East when there's a much better fight here at K&H that is... Much more evenly balanced. I guess I'll just have to pull another Valkyrie, my third aircraft today, within four minutes of getting in the battle, just to have an actual fight. It's annoying. It's very annoying. Still, we'll make another life or two, and then we'll call it. It's... The Nyx is just one of those guns that I can't actually say a whole lot on. Yes, it's a decent scout rifle. It is a fine weapon. It is a fine Araxium if you were looking for an Araxium or a scout rifle to Araxium for, say, the, infilt the Infiltrator Directive Hell. or anything. But could I actually recommend it to a player looking to get into scout rifles? No. The Vandal's just better. And that's why... Well... I just can't recommend, recommend it. I don't have much to say on it because it's a semi-automatic scout rifle. That is worse than the Vandal. What am I meant to say about it? There is nothing to say about it. It's such a plain, generic 255 and 334 scout that you can find better in the Vandal, that has better traits, that's more fun to use because it's .75. So... Yeah, it's not bad, obviously. But... It's just that. If I had unstable there, I probably would have killed him by hip firing. And of course I throw because I'm terrible with the beamer. I'm going to recap because I don't want to play any more Osher. I'm desperately looking for a reason to log out. So, in conclusion, the Nyx. It's okay. Ultimately, the only reason you would ever want to pick up the Nyx is for the unstable ammunition gimmick that actually makes it work as a fairly decent scout rifle. It's a, it's a meme build, but it's actually a viable meme build. The problem with the Nyx at the end of the day is that the Vandal exists. The Vandal does everything the Nyx does but better outside of that one unstable ammo gimmick. And even then, if you have the mechanical aim to headshot, and in a scout rifle you should be going for headshots because it will make them really, really strong, unstable cuts at that. So at the end of the day, while it's not bad, it's outperformed by the Vandal. It's the same as all the other damn scout rifles I review. It's not bad, it's just outperformed by the Vandal. Thank you all, and I will see you all again another time. Bye.